What better way to spend a lovely summer's day with friends and family cooking some amazing recipes on the Whistler Barbecue. We're going to put together a rotisserie chicken dish. Um, we're going to have some roast potatoes. Um, I've done a Mediterranean salad. First of all, what we need to show you with the rotisserie is you cannot use the rotisserie with uh, the top shelf one and shelf on. So this definitely needs to come out. And the other thing, we need to get the back burner fired up. So again, um, in order to be able to handle this to skewer the chicken, uh, we need this out. Okay, so let's uh, fire the back burner up. Now, the key with these is that uh, there's a cylinder at the back of the, um, the back burner, which needs to fill with gas before you light the ignition. So just turn the, uh, the dial slowly to the point where it's about to ignite. You'll hear the gas coming through. Give it maybe 10 seconds or so. And when the gases fill the chamber, fire it up and you can see that that's lit. Okay, so we've got the potatoes here. I use Mary's Piper, um, which are really good for um, roasting on the grill. I really need to put my hat on because it's starting to scorch today. I look all right. Okay, so let's um, show you how to get this uh, wonderful piece of chicken onto this um, rotisserie skewer. Well, the first thing you need to do on one end is um, take this little um, lock nut off there and the um, spike that runs alongside it. Right through the chicken, push that through and thump it onto the skewer like that. What we'll do then is uh, get this one on to secure it. There, and lock that in. And importantly with the, this is the, the locking piece on the end, which is the spindle, and make sure that the, um, the tightening nut is actually on the inside nearest the chicken, not on the outside, because when you shut the lid, you'll find that it actually catches um, on the lid and the lid won't close properly. So we'll line that up. This is ready to go on the barbecue now. Right, okay, you'll notice one thing um, that you receive with your um, rotisserie system is um, this bracket here. You'll see that that's um, simply just screwed into the side next to the lid there, and that's the housing for the actual motor. This is the motor which drives the, uh, the rotisserie, and that just slides on to this bracket, and that's ready then to receive the, um, the skewer. Do you mind how you go, because this will be quite hot. As you can see there, we'll get that into that receiver there. Push that as far as that will go in there. Um, you'll feel it lock into position like that. We'll switch on here. Right, so um, see, chicken's nicely cooking on there. We're gonna get the, um, the potatoes on there now. Um, get these under the, uh, the chicken. Might need to keep them a little bit away from the turning chicken because they might catch. And then we'll roast them in all them wonderful chicken juices. Okay, so uh, I think we'll get the uh, Mediterranean vegetables on the next griddle plate. So off we go, this has been cooking for a few minutes, so will uh, get them on there. Just check on the cook now. Wow, it's looking really good. Um, yeah, I think, um, I think it's time to add the tomatoes. They've been cooking for about 30 minutes now, so um, last 15 minutes of the cook, add in the tomatoes and mix them in a bit. Because they obviously uh, don't take as long as the other veg. So I think this, um, this chicken's now ready. Yes, it is. It's certainly reached the, uh, the right temperature uh, and the probe's telling me that. So we're gonna remove this now from the, um, from the barbecue. Let's have it. There we are. There we are. And over to your board. Okay. To get the, uh, the chicken off the skewer, let's uh, remove this. Loosen this and pull that from the chicken. And how I do it, and there's other options, you could stick a fork in and draw it off, but I actually loosen that one there and slide the skewer out that way.
There we are. Okay, so uh, here's the uh, Mediterranean veg. We're just gonna put a bit of uh, lemon zest on there. Feta cheese. Some basil. Let's go and enjoy this food. Lovely sunny day. Hey, hey.